guys, what is going on? Linky here, and welcome back to another episode of the Purge SMP server, everybody. How are you all doing today? In today's episode, guys, we're going to be starting a new project at our base. I know, it's exciting. It's very exciting. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a shovel, and we're going to need a lot of pickaxes. So I have some pre-made uh, for this project. What we're going to be doing today, guys, is we're going to be constructing the underground portion of our base. Now, I'm excited for this because it has been a while since we've done anything at our base and I'm very excited to be able to get started on some stuff. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to lay out the foundations of our underground part of our base. So, the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out where we're going to put this. Now, my original thought was if we go into the house here, my original thought process on this, shut please, thank you. My original thought process on this was that we could have a spiral staircase going down in the house that will go down into the underground portion. But then I realized that the farm area is right under my house. So if we're gonna put it here, we're gonna have to interrupt the farm. And if we wanna interrupt the farm, we're gonna have to put it in one of the corners. So I'm either thinking we put it in this corner where the furnaces are, or we move my bed and put it in this corner. This corner is probably more of a logical spot to put it because I don't really want to move my furnaces and my crafting tables, but the bed can be moved. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear some inventory space here and we're going to break this bed and we're going to put it in a new spot. I think maybe what we can do is we can move this, we can move the crafting table, we can put the bed here for now and then we'll maybe we'll, we'll put the crafting table in the corner here and I don't want the bed to be in the corner. What we can do is we can put the bed like here. So I think that'll be good for now, and what we're going to do is I would like to get an axe. There we are. What we're going to do is we're going to cut out a little bit of a hole to make a spiral staircase. This is going to be where the spiral staircase goes, so we're going to have to block this off. Baby cow, you got to move. Move move cows. Cat, really? Seriously? Back up. Back up. Back up. We have to block off. We have to block off the spot here. Let's just put... No. Cow, move. <laughs> Alright, there's the spot where we're going to put it. And now, let's just get out of this area here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to build up a little bit of a walk, a uh, little bit of some walling for this area. Do we have any of that wood? We have spruce wood. All right, good. And also, let's make dark stairs. I think I want to use, I think I want to use dark stairs for this. So, let's take the dark oak and let's make some more stairs. So, we have 30, 36 stairs. Really? Get out. Really? Baby cow? Back up. Back up, baby cow. Back up. Back up, you evil creatures. Wait, this is... Back up! Blocked it. Alright, good. This is different staring, isn't it? Is this the right one? This is the right one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, we need... We need more of that. Let's build up. We need to get more of the dark oak. Do we have any dark oak in here? We should. I, I could have sworn that I got a bunch of it. Hmm. I don't know. Is there... Where's the nearest dark oak biome? I don't know how much dark oak I even have on me anymore because I've used it all for this build. That's irritating. Uh, let's look. No, I don't see any dark oak. That's, that's just, that's just kind of putting a damper on everything. You know what we'll do? We'll use the spruce wood for now. Spruce wood doesn't look that bad, honestly. We'll use that for the underground portion and we'll change it up once we get a hold of more dark oak because the problem with getting a hold of more dark oak is that I honestly, I have no clue where to find any. Uh, Prez, I believe, has a dark oak biome by his house, and that could be, that could definitely be a spot, where's my axe? That could definitely be a spot where we could look to get some dark oak, but I don't know, I don't want to really ask him. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to continue to dig this down into the ground here, just continuously digging this down, because I don't know how deep I want to make this go. So we'll just continue digging until we can find a spot for it. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to do something that Dan actually did. And uh, if you go and watch his episodes, you'll see that he's built a cool, like, underground part of his base. And it looks really cool and everything. And I think I want to do something like that. We need to break this torch and put that there. And then we need to put one here, one here, and one here. No, that doesn't work. That, that doesn't look good. We'll come up here. Let's make sure this is walkable. Yes, it is. Okay, good. So we have a spiral staircase going down now. And what we'll do is, as we continue to go down, we'll continue to add in the the side areas for this, which will be good. And we can just keep going as deep as we want, honestly. I don't know. I don't really think there's a point where we have to stop or we have to kind of go to because this whole area is ours. We, it's not like we're going to bump into anybody else, which is useful. So we just got to continue taking this down, honestly. And if you guys hear any background noise today, I do apologize. 
that I can't really can't really help that right now it's kind of I really can't uh, like do anything about it so it, it is annoying but I've learned to live with it so hopefully you guys can learn to love my background noise my amazing terrible background noise we only have a few more planks to fill in here okay we need to fill in this this uh, stone here actually so let's get this let's just fill some we have seven more pieces to use which should be enough I think and then we can fill you in that doesn't show right no it doesn't good all right, let's just continuously do this. Three more pieces that'll fill that in. And that is what we're able to get done right now. This, these pieces I'm still debating on using because I don't know if I want to go against like the grass part of the rest of the area. I don't know if I want to kind of uh, dis disrupt that. So we'll have to see. But let's just put this extra stuff in here. Actually, torches, torches might come in handy. Do we have anything we can use? Yes, we have more dark oak. Wait, wait, we have... Did I honestly... Wait. Did I seriously not see those before? I don't know. I'm going, I'm going crazy, but let's turn these into some sticks here so we can make some more torches to light that area up. So there we are. Perfect. And let's go down and light up this area. And what I think I want to do is we'll start, even though we can't um, carve out all of it today, what I might want to do, oh, we didn't want to break that. What I might want to do is we'll start with the frame of the underground part today. And we're going to keep digging this down because we're going to go a little bit deeper before we before we decide to start. or But yeah, before we decide to start building the area here. And I think maybe right here could be good. So like, where does this go? Right here. Actually, let's go one more down. And then we can start. So we're in stone now. We're pretty deep in the stone. And we're going to make this a 3x3. Three three. So it's going to be... Oh, we're going to make this a 3x2. And we're just going to dig this out here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create different rooms for different things. There's going to be a room for enchanting. There's going to be a chest and storage room. Eventually, what I want to do is I want to get a bunch of farms down here as well. I want to get a cow farm, a pig farm, a sheep farm, a wheat farm, a carrot farm, pumpkin farm, potato farm. I want to just, my goal honestly is to get all of the different farms that they have. Because I want to be, I want to try to be as self-sufficient as possible down here. Because I think it could be really cool to be able to just come down into our base and just get any of the resources we will ever need. We can even... Alright, that broke. Let's put another one in our inventory. We could even potentially create like some mine shafts, some strip mines, all that sort of stuff down here while we're working. And we still have torches, right? Yeah, good. And we could just create a bunch of those things while we're working. So right now we're just making the, the hallway that all the rooms are going to be in. And I'll put another torch down here for now. And this is going to be the hallway where all the different rooms are. And I will grab... I'll grab this coal, this not coal, this iron as well while we're here because the more iron, the better. And we'll cover this up with like some cobblestone for now. Now, I don't know how long I want to make the, I want to make the hallway and we're going to decorate it. Obviously, we're going to decorate it just like we're going to decorate our nether portal path eventually. But I just haven't gotten around to it yet, which is kind of annoying because right now it's just a normal netherrack pathway. And I kind of like the look of it in this texture pack. Uh, a few of you guys were asking what texture pack this is. I'm using Creeper Farts default edit, so if you guys want to go check that out, I believe he provided a download link to it in his 500th episode of SG. So you guys can go check that out and download this pack. I really love it. It's such a, it's such a nice clean pack in my opinion, and it's really cool to play with. So that's really nice. And I think we're gonna stop the path, the hallway here for now, and that looks good. Now the stairwell. Did we put the stairs away? Yeah, we did. The the rooms are gonna begin here I think so this is gonna be the first room and this room is going to go into probably the enchanting station so this is gonna be where the enchanting is gonna be done we'll have a brewery in here and we'll have a full level enchanting table with all the different books and everything and that'll be good and how much does this go in one two three four five and then we can do five out over here as well and we can build another room here this might be I don't know, the bedroom, something along those lines. Eventually, what I want to do is maybe even, like, I don't know, turn it into a cool, like, secret base or something. I don't know. The possibilities are honestly endless for this base, and it's going to be really cool. So, we'll pick this up. Also, someone just let my dog outside, and he's barking up a storm, probably because people are maybe swimming or something. I don't know. But if you guys do hear that, I do apologize in advance. So, we now have, this is five, right? I thought it was going crazy. Four, five. Yeah, that's five. And then it's a split of two. So, we're going to do... You see, now the problem with this is the rooms need to be big enough to where... This is probably going to need to be a much bigger hallway now that I think about it. We're going to do three on each side on each way here. That way we have a nice large room. And the inside room will be three high. Whereas this part, so the entrance into the room is only going to be two high. I guess that's just kind of for aesthetic purposes, but also just... I think I, I think it could look cooler. 
So that's what we're going to do. And also, guys, I think we're going to end off today's episode here. I'm going to do some more work on the underground and let me know what you guys think of it. If you guys have any ideas for what you want me to build and all that sort of stuff. And we will talk about it in the next episode because it's the 10-minute mark now. So I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, I've been Lincoln and I'll see you all in the next video.